As a metal drummer, one of the most important things could possibly be foot speed and foot endurance. Today, I'm going to be talking about two workouts or exercises you can do with your double bass to improve your endurance and your foot speed. Also, and possibly it can improve your foot independence. Let's get into these exercises, shall we? This first exercise, I like to call the 2-2-2 exercise. Basically, meaning that you're going to play two bars of alternating feet, two bars of just your right foot, and then two bars of just your left foot. So, we're going to demonstrate that really quick, and we're going to do that for about two minutes. You can play along, or you can skip to the next exercise. Here we go. So, starting off on the first exercise, the 2-2-2 exercise, we're going to be playing it at a comfortable 130 beats per minute. So, let's get into that. One, two, three. So after a few minutes of that, you should start to feel a little bit of a burn inside of your calves and in your shins. Not a bad burn necessarily, but you'll definitely feel warmed up afterwards. Let's try kicking up those BPMs a little bit, possibly to 150. Let's give that a shot. So that exercise is probably one of my favorite exercises because it has helped me develop foot independence, also gaining stamina and speed. See how fast you can go and keep cranking up those BPMs to a very comfortable. Make sure you're staying on time. Alrighty, so for this next double bass drum exercise slash endurance training, it's going to be what I like to call the Simon Says Technique. 
pretty much all it is is copying what you're doing on your right foot translating that to your left foot and so on so for instance if you're doing a single on the one you're gonna do a single on the one for your left as you would on your right if that makes any sense here we go I'm also not gonna have the fancy double cam because why three four one two So that was two of my favorite bass drum techniques that I use to improve my endurance, my foot independence, and my speed. I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you can apply these techniques into your own drumming. If you did like the video, make sure to drop a like on the video, and if you like my content in general, hit the subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.